Hi, just a relatively quick retro shoot video today, and we're going to be looking at Amiga format issue number 31. This uh, particular issue had a little platform game on the cover disc called Doody, and I thought it was quite an enjoyable little platform game. There's the magazine, and here's the disc. We'll zoom in, take a look. No mention on the disc itself, just uh, the nightmare demo and a hat full of utilities. But uh, get inside the magazine, there's a little bit there just inside the cover, and then turn over again, and there's a small write up. So, this video is going to be about trying to get it to run on the original hardware because there were one or two issues about this, I think, at the time. Uh, it's no problem these days because you've got the emulator and you can choose whatever ROMs you want to use or set whatever memory levels and what have you. But uh, this time we're going to just load it as we would have done before sort of standard Amiga 500 with a 1.3 ROM. So there we go, we'll click Doody from the control console, it's included. And we'll try and load it up. Oh, oh no, we've gone back to the control console, it hasn't loaded. Was that uh, just a one-off or whatever? Let's let's try loading it up again and see what happens. No, that's totally bust now, isn't it? Uh, memory must be full or something like that. So, as I said uh, just a minute ago, uh, no problem these days. If you're using an emulator or something, just take your pick. Choose your memory, you can get it to work no problem. But um, obviously you couldn't do that back in the day. Uh, you would have been using the original hardware. So let's just illustrate that point. Let's use something with a bit more memory. This is going to be the A1200. Okay, so there's no problem there. Uh, same thing with the A500 Plus as well. There's enough there. There's no problems with that. Don't know what the problem is exactly, but it is something to do with the memory or the ROM version. Um, but there is a solution, which was provided in Amiga format, a subsequent issue. But I've looked through them all and I cannot find it. L luckily, I seem to remember it. It's stuck in my head. Um, so you just quit the console. Don't uh, load it directly from there. And then use the memclear command to get some memory cleared up. And then just load it directly with duty forward slash duty. Now let's see what happens on the A500 with the 1.3 ROM. Please? Yes. There we go. So, like I say, no problem these days for emulators, but if anyone still wanted to I don't know, in the unlikely event they wanted to use this disc on the original hardware, that's a way to work around the console problem. So we've loaded it up, let's have a little let's just do a few levels of this and see what it was like. Some very good menu music here as well. But I quite like this game. It's a good old fashioned sort of platformer. Would be a lot a lot better with two players, I reckon, but still very good with just the one. So there's Doody, that's your character. You're an orange, and he's got a square, square pair of glasses as well. So you've got to hit the platforms beneath uh, all the enemies, and then just uh, nudge them off. Just like that. So, yeah, starting off with green shell turtles. Um, if the enemies get to the bottom of the screen, they get to the pipes at the bottom, then they'll respawn out of the top pipes and they'll be a bit tougher subsequently. So the green turtles, if they get down to the bottom and then through the bottom pipe and up to the top again, the shell will turn blue the next time they respawn and they'll move a lot faster. If they get to the bottom again, I think they turn sort of pinky purple and then they're sort of turbocharged. Those uh, letters you collect will spell out the word bonus. If you can collect one letter of uh, each sort, then you will get an extra life. 
So we've collected the B, there's the U. So we need an O, N and S. If we complete the word bonus, we'll get an extra life. Yeah, there's another U down there, so that's not going to work. Watch out for those ghosts that spawn occasionally and go across the screen. Get hit by one of those and you lose a life. Although you probably saw me pick up one of those blue and yellow pills. That's sort of like an invincibility, temporary invincibility pill, so that gives you a bit of help. And that POW button there, that P-O-W button, uh, you can hit that, jump up into that, and that will hit every enemy on the screen. A word of caution though, if uh, an enemy is upside down like that turtle is at the moment, uh, if you were to hit it again you would you would up, you would would uh, set it right. So you don't want to undo all your hard work. And don't take too long either to knock them off the platform once you've uh, got them upside down otherwise they get tougher. There's the letter N. If we collect that we're getting close to a bonus. So this is really good fun, very cartoony, uh, you know, nice colourful graphics and everything. Um, and I think this would definitely feel really good playing with two people. Yeah, it's a very small basic bonus round, collect all the stars before the time runs out. Just like so. And then when you have a uh, change of round after the bonus round, you get a change in the sort of the platform graphics. And I think the POW button, if you've depleted it, it's reset as well. So I think it starts off with two hits. You can hit it twice or something like that. And uh, the rest of it's just little points bonuses and things like that, uh, like that coin there. And occasionally there's the fizzy drinks cans that appear as well. And so, yeah, generally this is good to play. And we're just waiting on that letter S to complete the word bonus. Let's just, let's illustrate the POW thing. Let's just hit that. I think that's a... Yeah, there we go. And that's a pink crab that's a bit... Oh, there we go, I've just righted it as well. That was bad. And they get a bit tougher as well, those crabs. See, they need two hits before they get flipped over. So yeah, it gets progressively more difficult, and I can't remember exactly, there might be about 30 levels, don't quote me on that, I'm not totally sure. Um, yeah, but there we go, that's the game. So let's let this run on a bit for now. Sorry as well, I've left on that uh, emulated drive sound, you've probably heard that sort of noise whirring away in the background there, so um, you'll uh, just have to put up with that I'm afraid. <laughs>
Yeah, you can probably see I'm uh, deliberately losing my lives now just to bring this uh, video to a close. Just so we can bring up the high score, high score screen. So, one more life to go. And that's that. And there we go. Enter your initials. And I just thought I'd bring this um, screen up as well because this is, this is a very nice sort of contemplative uh, music. It's a very nice piece, I think. Let's just have a very quick listen. Nice, that sort of contemplative and slightly broody and thoughtful, very melodic as well. It's the sort of, for some reason, it reminds me a little bit of a song called Memories, which is by Ingve Malmsteen. It has that sort of instrumental mellowness to it. Hmm. So that's that. Um, it was a video mainly to show that sort of workaround, but we've seen a bit of the game. I think that control console was only used for about three issues of Amiga format and then they ditched it, so maybe it was creating too many problems for the discs. Who knows? Uh, anyway, that's it. More videos to follow in the future, who knows, hopefully. Okay. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye for now.